If you want to stand out from the crowd, you have to be able to establish your credibility within your local market. So how in the world do you do that? Well, this is a huge part of local market positioning. And so there's three things that you need to really look at. You need to have key stats within your business, and we'll talk about each of these in more detail. Key stats, awards, and then the results that you get. Those are three things that you can think about to really set yourself apart and establish yourself as a credible resource. Because if you remember all the way back to the very first course, we talked about marketing essentials, right? And one of the biggest things in the principles of marketing was that it builds trust. One of the fastest ways to build trust is to be able to establish yourself as a credible resource for your clients. You can do that by listing out the awards that you've won. And so if you remember to the last course that we just filmed, I filmed an intro in there, and we did it in front of a lot of awards that our company has personally won. We have Inc. 5000. We have business review awards where we were rated in satisfaction for our customers. We had a ton of different awards, best places to work. And so that establishes credibility for us as in we provide a great service to you and our clients. So that's one way. So do you have best of awards? Have you won best of city? Have you won chamber of commerce awards? You know, what awards have you won yourself or for your business that can set you apart from everyone else? Figure out how to list those and how to portray those in your marketing. So write those down. Next up is the results that you get. So what are the results that you get within your business? And so I have a great example of this. When I used to run my fitness business before I sold it, we had a competitor in our market, and they were the first to be able to talk about, they tallied up the total number of pounds that they've lost since they opened. I kicked myself after learning about it and not having done that myself, but they started to really outpull some of that transformation or weight loss market because they could say they've lost 15,000, 14,000, 13,000, whatever the poundage was, they've lost that many total pounds over time, and they were tracking that. Now, I don't know if that was true or not, but that's what they were marketing. If you can back up those results that you get with your clients and use that in your marketing, that helps you become incredibly credible, incredibly credible, that's a tough, word, tough combo to say there, incredibly credible within your market. And so figure out what the results you get are. How long do clients stay with you? That's another thing that you can look at. So you have key stats within your business. How long do clients stay? is one big one. So if you know that you build off of lifetime value of clients and relationships are a huge part of what you do and that's important to clients, how does that make you stand out? Well, if I know that your average client stays with you for three years or 18 months or whatever that is and you know that, then you can position those stats to say, look, we're so good at what we do that we get clients results within 90 days and they still stay with us. So you can tie these two together as well. So another key stat, and this ties into a result, would be our average client loses 10 pounds in the first 90 days. If you can say that within your marketing, that's hugely powerful to establish your credibility and attract better clients.